Well, calling all artists, our Inside South Florida correspondent Miriam Tapia heads to Dania Beach where she visits Mad Arts Gallery, a creative space where local artists can submit their best artwork and be chosen to have their creations showcased for the community and the world. Welcome to Mad Arts Gallery. Located in Dania Beach, this unique art space supports the artistic significance of the local arts community. The concept was developed by MAD, an advertising agency. MAD Studios' mission with the space is to provide a community for art lovers and art makers. When we talk about it, we feel like we've kind of created a playground, you know, not just for the artists, but for the people who get to see it as well. So, um, you know, we feel very fortunate that we get to come to work in a, in a literal playground, you know, both for digital arts and traditional arts. Mad Arts strives to support local artists by helping them facilitate their ideas with resources that may be out of reach to them. When we first start talking to the artists, we try and find out, you know, what they want to do. You know, when we, when we really tell them, don't leave anything out because, you know, we, we, we feel like we're a place where we can make anything happen. You know, we take all the resources from the agency side, which has developers, programmers, graphic artists, 3D artists, um, you know, a lot of makers as well. Um, then you have Mad Labs, which has all this technology, uh, motion capture suits, um, you know, uh, virtual studios, green screens, um, kind of you name it, kind of we can create it. Nothing is off the table. Artists with backgrounds in traditional art, sculptures, NFTs, and visual arts can apply to Mad Arts. The art gallery is also a space to visit. Visitors can get an inside look at the works artists make in-house. And just in time for Earth Day, Mad Arts actually has a brand new immersive installation that combines music technology with art. The artist is a music technologist. I had never even known such a thing exist and um, heard about it. He received a grant from the Broward Cultural Division, who we work with pretty closely. Uh, we actually didn't know that they had given him the grant. We met him at one of our shows here. And um, yeah, he, 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 he built an amazing exhibit. Here at Mad Arts, uh, we're showcasing the We Control Nature, which is an immersive inst installation that um, is a reflection on the effect humans have on nature. So when people are here, they're able to interact with the moving backgrounds. They're able to interact with the tablets to change some of the visuals. Uh, and the idea is for people to come out with a sense of the effect that we're having and you know the negative effect on nature. Philip Liqui is one of the many artists who has had success with the help of Mad Arts. It's great to be supported by someone who understands what it is you need as an artist and that oftentimes the things that we're doing don't make much sense to people until they're completed and finished. Uh, so when you know, when someone is offering you the, their technology or their support or their, uh, their capabilities, then, you know, for us, for artists, we're often kind of playing around in, in the sandbox and, and pushing the possibilities or, um, you know, pushing around the, the actual purpose of whatever it is that those machines or those techniques are, are, are designed for. Um, I think artists are really good at subverting technologies and uh, that's, that's in part of how we, we, we move something forward into a creative field. The commission the gallery makes actually gets invested in future artists who work with Mad Arts. This pays it forward to the artists wanting to break through in the art world. It's funny because Mad Arts obviously is not a prof profitable endeavor but very honestly it's by far the most rewarding. Um, you get to work with all these amazing creatives and you know that that creativity is infectious and I think that translates to everything else that we do um, in all the other divisions of MAD you know on the advertising side on the technology side everything you know that that that's part of our our playground and um, you know and, and it and it has a positive impact on everything that we do if you are an upcoming artist trying to look for some help and need some resources, you can contact Mad Arts at madarts at yeswearemad.com. Coming to you from Dania Beach, I'm Miriam Tapia, Inside South Florida.